Chapter 1 The Harappan Civilization 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 is said to be an advanced stage of human cultural development. It implies the use of superior technology and complex economic relationships. Some of traits which mark a civilization are first, evolution of cities, second, surplus food, third, division of labor, fourth, system of writing, fifth, public buildings, sixth, development of technology. The period between 4000 and 3000 BC saw remarkable progress. Man acquired greater knowledge and skill in mastering the forces of nature. He took to agriculture and made more efficient tools and started living a settled life on the banks of rivers. So, a number of dispersed farming villages evolved first into towns and then into cities. The river valleys had the agricultural potential to support a dense population and produce surplus food. The surplus food freed some people from the task of producing their own food. These individuals gradually became specialists and developed a substantial range of new skills such as writing, using metals and making their alloys, seal making and large scale construction. Such knowledge and skills enabled people to advance to a new stage in the progress of civilization. Bronze Age Civilization From using stone tools, man gradually came to know the use of metals. Metals were more durable than stone and could be used for making a variety of tools, implements and weapons. The first metal to be discovered was copper. For a long time, stone implements continued to be used along with copper. This period when man used both stone and copper tools is known as Chalcolithic period. What is it known as? Chalcolithic period. Later on, man learned the art of mixing copper with tin or zinc to produce the alloy called bronze. Bronze is harder and more ductile than copper and is therefore more suitable for the manufacture of tools and weapons. Because of the importance of bronze in the growth of the first civilizations, these civilizations are known as the Bronze Age Civilizations. By about 2500 BC, four Bronze Age civilizations emerged. These were first. The Harappan civilization in northern and western parts of India and Pakistan. Second, the Mesopotamian civilization on the banks of river Euphrates and Tigris in modern Iraq. Third, the Chinese civilization in the valley of Huangho and Yangtze rivers. And fourth, the Egyptian civilization on the banks of Nile River in Egypt, the Harappan civilization. The discovery of Indus Valley civilization in the 20th century was an important event in the history of India. Up to this time, it was believed that the history of India began with the advent of Aryans. However, the discovery of the Harappan civilization stretched back the origin of the Indian history so as to put it at par with the other oldest civilizations of the world, namely Mesopotamian and Egyptian civilizations. The Indus Valley civilization is best known as the Harappan culture or the Harappan civilization. The term culture is used by the archaeologists for a group of objects distinctive in style that are usually found together within a specific geographical area and period of time. In the case of Harappan culture, these distinctive objects are seals, weights, stone blades and baked bricks.
It is also called the Harappan civilization because the Harappan site was the first to be discovered in 1921 at the modern site of Harappa, situated in the province of West Punjab in Pakistan. Mohanjadaro was discovered in 1922. Both lie in the Indus Valley region. अगर आप अपने syllabus के सारे chapters इस format में देखना चाहते हैं, तो हमें description में दिए गए number पर call करें. Sources. Our knowledge of the Harappan civilization is based entirely on the archaeological remains such as buildings, pottery, sculpture, seals, and cemeteries. This is so because no adequate written records are available. A number of seals were discovered with a few letters engraved on each, but the script has not been deciphered as yet. Therefore, the major sources of our information of the Harappan civilization are the following. The Great Bath The Great Bath is one of the largest public buildings at Mohanjadaro. It has a large rectangular tank in a courtyard surrounded by a corridor on all four sides. There are two flights of steps, one in the north and the other in the south, leading into the tank. To make the pool watertight, burnt bricks and mortar lined with bitumen and gypsum were used for construction. The water for the bath was provided by a well in an adjacent room. Surrounding the bath were porticos and sets of rooms and a stairway which led to an upper story. Some scholars believed that these rooms were provided for the members of some kind of priesthood, whereas others think that the rooms were provided for changing clothes. The uniqueness of the structure with several distinctive features has led scholars to suggest that it was meant for some kind of a ritual bath. The Great Bath is an important source of information that throws light on the life of the people and culture of the Harappan civilization. First, the construction of the Great Bath indicates that the art of building had reached a high degree of perfection at that time. Second, the massive structure points out that there might have existed a ruling class that could mobilize labor, collect taxes and build such a huge structure for the public. Third, most of the scholars agree that the Great Bath might have been used for religious purposes. This indicates the importance attached to ceremonial bathing in sacred tanks, pools and rivers since time immemorial. Fourth, the design of the Great Bath portrays the efficient planning in the structural features relating to water supply and sewage disposal. Two, the citadel. The raised area of each city was called the citadel. It owed its height to the buildings constructed on mud brick platforms. The citadel had the houses of the ruling class and important buildings like the Great Bath, the Granary, the Assembly Hall and the workshops. The citadel points to the elaborate planning that went into the development of cities and justifies that the Harappan civilization was an urban civilization. The presence of specific buildings and houses of the ruling class indicate some sort of social classification. 3. Seals The seals used by the Harappans show their artistic skills. About 2,000 seals have been discovered. Of these, a great majority comprise short inscriptions with pictures of the one-horned bull, Buffalo, Tiger, Goat, Elephant and Rhinoceros. 
Material used in making the seals comprises terracotta, steatite, agate, etc. Most of the seals are rectangular or square, but some of them are circular in shape. Harappan seals provide useful information about the script, trade, religion and beliefs of the Harappans. Seals of Pashupati show that people believed in Shiva. It shows a three-faced deity wearing a buffalo horned headdress, seated cross-legged on a throne and surrounded by an elephant, a tiger, a buffalo and a rhinoceros with two deer at his feet. This deity has been identified as Pashupati Mahadeva. The unicorn seal shows their mythical beliefs. The seals bear some kind of script which has not yet been deciphered. The seals were used by traders to stamp their goods. After a bag with goods was tied, a layer of wet clay was applied on the knot and the seal was pressed on it. Because of the trade, these seals were found in different regions. They indicate that the Harappan trade had spread over a vast area. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें। फोर बियर्ड मैन द स्टोन स्कल्पचर ऑफ अ मैन विद अ बियर्ड वॉज डिस्कवर्ड फ्रॉम मोहन जुदारो द स्टैच्यू हैज अ शॉल वोन ओवर द लेफ्ट शोल्डर एंड द आईज आर हाफ क्लोज therefore some scholars believe that this is the statue of a yogi the sculpture is of high artistic value and points to the existence of skilled artisans in the harappan civilization 5 dancing girl the bronze statue of a dancing girl found at mohenjodaro is a masterpiece of art and it shows a high degree of development in the art of sculpture The figurine shows vigor, variety, and ingenuity. The right arm of the dancing girl rests on the hip, and the left arm is heavily bangled. It holds a six dockyard. A rectangular dockyard was discovered at Lothal in Gujarat. It was surrounded by a massive brick wall, probably as a protection against floods. The dockyard made of baked bricks was connected by a channel to the Gulf of Cambay. Lothal was an important trading and manufacturing center of the Indus Valley civilization and was used for carrying out overseas trade. Agar aap apne syllabus ke sare chapters is format mein dekhna chahte hain to hame description mein diye gaye number par call kare. Aise hi aur educational videos dekhne ke liye hamare channel Home Revise ko subscribe kare.